firearm, make your grip, tie your cannon to the beaver tail, closing up all the space with your support hand, squeezing those hands together using dynamic tension. Pull the gun into your chest, pushing straight out with both arms, pushing both arms out equally. Acquire your sight picture, and you'll do a slow press on the trigger uh, under control. So go ahead and load up, let's fire a few rounds down range. Remember your trigger pull, straight back to your body. As a competitive shooter and firearms instructor, one of the most common questions I get asked is what brand of firearm do I recommend? And I always have the same answer for everyone. You need to find the firearm that fits you the best. Don't necessarily pay attention to what the trends are or to what your buddy shoots or to something you've seen on TV. It is really beneficial to go to a gun store such as Whitaker Guns where you can put your hand on several different types of firearms and really try to find the gun that feels like it was made for you. Keep in mind what your intentions are with this firearm. Am I going to carry it? Am I just going to have it? Am I going to compete with it? Is it for home protection? Take all of those into consideration when choosing that firearm. If it's going to be a carry firearm, obviously you're probably looking for something on the smaller side. I would still consider getting the biggest firearm that I could comfortably carry just for control issues. The small firearms are much harder to shoot successfully because they generally have more recoil and they bounce around in your hand a lot. Just keep that in mind when you're thinking about what firearm you may choose. Uh, for me, I shoot Springfield Armory exclusively and I do that because every time I put an XD or an XDM in my hand, it feels like it was made just for me. And when you're looking at different firearms, here are some key aspects to look for. Can you get your hand in the proper position all the way up into the beaver tail and close up all of that space? If it doesn't feel natural to you or you find yourself struggling to get that hand in a good position on the grip, that is probably not the gun for you. As soon as you pick up something that feels like it fits you the best, that is probably where you need to start getting serious about this could be the gun for me. When I put this gun in my hand, it feels like they made it just for me. That was probably just a coincidence that I got lucky at. However, that, that is the case. On your support hand, wrap that hand around and, and make sure that you can successfully take up all the other space between the gun and your hands, because that is the key part to shooting a handgun successfully is taking up space. If you have a small hand and you choose a gun that is too big, you are not going to be able to get your hand comfortably around the grip. So make sure you pay attention to those aspects. The most important part of choosing a handgun is finding the handgun that fits your hands the best.